Hey guys, welcome back to Geek J, where we make tech tutorials and gaming simpler and better. In our last video, I showed you how to inject FSR4 into where winds meet using OptiScaler, and we were using Nukem's frame generation. It was a huge improvement, but let's be honest, it wasn't perfect. Nukem's solution is great, but in this game, it can be a bit jittery, and if you alt-tab, good luck. It bugs out way too often, but today I've got something better. A smoother, more stable frame generation solution that you need to try. Just in case you missed it, if you want to see how to install OptiScaler and FSR4 on RDNA 2 and RDNA 3 hardware in where winds meet, check out my previous video linked up here. Hello? And you can also find it in the description. You need that base setup first. So here we are with the previous setup. It works, FPS is higher, but it just doesn't feel as locked in as we want. The smoothness isn't quite there and the latency can feel a bit off. And also if we alt tab sometimes, it usually just breaks the whole thing and you see ghosting and a jittery image. It's kind of all over the place. So uh, let's get a baseline and then we're gonna fix this. So let me go into the settings and display and this is the settings I have selected for my game. There have been some uh, localization improvements. So you can see now we have DLAA, ultra quality, quality balance, performance and ultra performance. And it's much easier to understand. We also have Nvidia Reflex uh, going over here and we have the Nvidia frame generation enabled. And it basically uh, translates into uh, Nukem's FSR frame generation. So if we press insert on our keyboard, you can see we have our uh, OptiScaler menu over here and you can see the frame generation is uh, Nukem's DLSSG and it translates to FSR FG. It states it is on, as you can see our FPS is 136. So yeah, this is uh, how it looks. You can see the actual frames per second are about um, 63, uh, 69, nice, uh, 50 something, and then it just uh, doubles that, uh, basically. But yeah, it does still feel a bit jittery even now, uh, and it hasn't bugged out yet, so we're still good, but if I alt-tab, let's say I want to alt-tab over here, do something, and then I alt-tab back into the game, still looks okay i think we haven't bugged out yet so let's let's keep trying with uh alt tabbing and you can see now that i alt tabbed a few times we have this uh uh ghosting happening every few frames as you can see over here in the distance uh at that rock over there with the trees on top if i you know move my camera it kind of jitters suddenly to one side or the other, and then it gradually gets worse. Uh, so when you load into a new location, and then if you alt-tab in, in between those uh, situations, you're going to get a worse and worse experience every time you just alt-tab, and uh, it's not that great. So um, let's try and fix this. So first we need to click the drop down and we need to switch it to OptiFG and this over here is the game changer and over here at the FG output I'm going to select XEFG. So this combination is where the magic happens basically. So don't forget to hit the save I and I and close the menu and now we need to basically restart our game for those changes to kick in. So be right back. All right, we're back in, but we're not done yet. Usually your graphic settings are gonna be reset after you change something so drastic in OptiScaler. So first of all, we will need to uh, go into our menu, press escape, 
uh, click the little cog over here for settings and then go into display. And as you can see, everything has returned to its default settings. So I'm going to go back in and select all the uh, settings I want. So if you're done with uh, your display settings over here, uh, press escape again. Now that we're done with our graphical settings once again, just uh, hit insert again. And as you can see, uh, we can activate the frame generation X E F G over here. So if we uh, tick on active over here and then click save and close, uh, we don't know what our FPS are. So uh, basically just uh, hit insert again. So on the right side over here, you can see it says FPS overlay and we can uh, tick on this. You can select where the positioning is going to be. Uh, if it's going to have a completely transparent background and stuff like that. I'm just going to keep it super, super simple. Again, save INI &I and close and you should immediately feel the difference. The camera movement way smoother and the latency. It feels for some reason very, very reduced uh, input latency is way down. But wait, you might notice some UI elements bugging out or flickering. So we have to fix that too. So one last time, we're gonna hit insert. And here in the OptiScaler menu, we need to find the advanced XEFG settings over here. This is what we wanna see. And then frame generation OptiFG. And we wanna tick HUD fix. And then we're going to save I and I and close. Don't forget to save I and I and close. As you can see now, we still have the very nice FPS numbers over there. They're around 130, 120, 25, 34. And uh, the game feels a lot smoother. As you can see, hopefully through the video. And we don't have those ghosting uh, issues that were appearing after we, uh, you know, all tabbed and stuff. So let's try all tabbing. Yeah, I all tabbed like a million times and boom, guys, look at that. Smooth gameplay, way less bugging out, and it only took us a few minutes. This is the definite way to play where winds meet right now if you are on RDNA 2 or RDNA 3 GPUs. So yeah guys and gals, if this smoother solution worked for you, smash that like button and let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell for more optimization guides. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.